All right, guys, we're going to get started. Thank you again for joining me today on a Friday afternoon. It's beautiful out. We're going to get a little gymnastic strength training in today. Today's focus is going to be straight arm strength work. We're going to be working on a lot of upper body. We're going to be doing some core. We're going to finish off the week with some straight arm strength concepts. So we've been doing lots of pushing and lots of squatting and leg work. We've crushed the core earlier this week. So straight arm strength concept is going to be using the position with the elbows, whether it's here, here, behind the back, or overhead, all right? So any type of movement holding yourselves with those elbows locked out. So let's get the, the body warmed up a little bit. And we're just gonna start with some shoulder circles. Okay, big shoulder swings. Give me 10 reps. Switching sides and 10. Other way, back again, other arm. And another arm. Good, other arm forwards. Other arm forwards. Okay, we're gonna reach for the ground, squat to pike, give me 10 reps. Hang out in your pike and squat for 10. Nine, two bounces. Eight, two bounces in your squat and in your pike. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, double arm circles, hands up, and swing in for ten. Other way. Good, and rotating to the side. Swing those arms back. Trying to twist into the upper back muscles, guys. Good, hands on the hips, and dropping to the side. Rotations for big trunk circles. Switching sides. Good stuff, guys. And again, rotating. Stuff. You're gonna come back to standing, feet apart. You're gonna give yourself a big hug, okay? Hugging and reaching those hands as far back as you can. And I'm just gonna drop over, I'm gonna drop my ear to my shoulder and drop a little deeper, drop the ear to the shoulder. I'm just kind of moving through the hips and let that upper back, hip and neck area stretch. Just kind of feeling whatever is tight before we start this workout. And rolling around. Drop your head to your chest. Come back around. Come all the way back to the outside or behind the back. And just let the head dangle where it wants to go. more 
steps in the other direction. Good stuff guys, and then 10 more squat to pike, reach down, and hang out at the bottom for two. And pikes, one, two, and squats. Continue on. Good stuff guys. Mercedes, Patricia, Nancy, Darius, Danka too, I'm not sure who that is. Hi, Avery or Myra, I always forget your name. <laughs> You gotta lip sync it to me. Avery. Avery, okay. Good stuff, guys. We're gonna come to the hands and knees. Okay, and we're just gonna hang out, moving the wrists around, making big circles. I'm gonna give you guys a really good wrist warm up today. Make a fist. Full circles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, outside, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hands up and down, flat hands. And in and out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's place the hands onto the ground, shoulders over hands, and you're going to pull your pinky to your thumb. We call these finger cinches. Coming up onto all 10 fingers and come on down. Pull your pinkies to your thumb. Get some strength and uh, blood flow through the forearms. Good. You're gonna make a fist, knuckles forwards. Okay, not a lot of weight necessary it has to be on the wrist here. And you're gonna rock forwards, keep a full fist, and then press your hand into the ground. Let's see what that looks like on the right side. You're gonna press your hand into the ground. As if you're doing a wrist curl with the weight, you're doing that with your own body weight. Again, pressing the knuckles into the ground. All right, we're gonna get into a little sequence here, a couple more. Okay, so first one, wrist push up, fingers facing one another on the fist, and then come on down, press your fingers into the ground, hang out there. I want you to feel all 10 fingers pressing really hard into the ground, and then pop back to full fist. Give me 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reach those hands out as far as you can in front of you, okay, and pressing through the elbows for ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shoulder circles, circling shoulders around the ears for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Rotations through the elbows. 
Noticing how the shoulder moves with the elbow joint. We want to be aware of this strong, stable elbow position for when we do our straight arm strength work. And back to wrist push up, nice and strong. Create some strength here. Pressing fingers into the ground for 10. Nine, bring your hands closer to your knees to make it easier. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, elbow push ups. If you want to come fully onto your feet for this for a little more challenge, by all means. and bouncing through the shoulders. Bouncing up and down, side to side. Whew. Feeling great. Okay, so you can grab your towel or a band. Uh, I'm using a pillowcase. And the next two drills we're gonna do we're gonna go into external rotation position. So I'm just gonna roll my towel up. Again, if you have a towel, a band also works. I'm demo demonstrating this tonight. Um, so you could use a towel at home if you don't have a band. Now, you're gonna think about rolling the shoulders back, okay? Without arching the back here as well. I'm rolling those shoulders back, and then we're gonna hold, palms facing upwards, excuse me, and holding, and you're pressing against the towel, you're pulling for 20 seconds. Okay, just kind of waking up the shoulders. I want you to feel the back of the shoulder muscles working. So you're almost retracting your shoulder blades a little bit, keeping a nice big proud chest and harder for another five, four, three, two, one. Drop the towel, give me five candle rolls into pike sit. Okay, hands up and bring your toes overhead and drop into pike sit for 10. Did I say five? 10 works. Three, two, I'm, I'm completely off track <laughs> on my count. <laughs> Is someone else counting for me? <laughs> I think there's two more. Good, grab your towel. And holding, shoulders rolled back, nice big proud chest, and 10, sorry, 20 seconds. As you get into the movement, you can start to ramp it up and really pull a little bit harder. For 10, 9, 8, 7, pull those shoulders back, pull the chin in like, what the fuck did you just say to me? Right, chin to chest, three, two, one. Again, round two. Hang out at the bottom of your pipe and bring those toes up behind you as far as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, 
three, two, and drop yourself into that big pike stretch and hang out for five. Good stuff, guys. I'd like to do one more round of the external rotation hold. Ready? Palms facing up. Roll those shoulders back. Nice big proud chest. Pull the chin in. Feel the shoulder blade muscles just working doing so like this. Squeeze the core and light it up. Ten. Twenty. Good stuff, guys. Let's get right into core. We've got three drills we're going to do for core today. We're going into an elbow plank. We're doing glute pulses and a side hollow position hold. Cool? So let's get into uh, elbow plank on the side. Now, if you want to stagger your feet on this one, you can, or you can keep them stacked. Stacked is going to be a little harder, forcing you to have a little more balance. And the bottom shoulder is going to be nice and strong, okay? We're really packing that shoulder into the ground. Everybody up, and drop down, and lift for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, all the way down, all the way up, five, four, Three, two, one on the bellies. You're gonna bring your hands underneath your forehead if you can do the movement without lifting your chest, or you can bring your hands out to the side. Okay, and you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna pull your feet apart from one another. We're going to lift your knees off the ground and pump those heels up to the sky for a ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and heels together for another time. Bring those heels together. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff, guys. And on to the side. All right. This one is going to be uh, using obliques. So you can bring your bottom arm in front and your top arm overhead and hold. Okay. Ready? And lift. Four up. I want to squeeze the obliques and the core. Glutes on. Lift as high as you can. Keep that bicep on here. Ten seconds. And switching sides. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Squeeze your bum at the same time here, guys. Keep that bicep on the ear and squeeze those oblique and core muscles a little bit harder. Pressing into the ground for 10 more seconds. Good 
Good work, guys. Resting. Let's come on to the same side where you're currently at. Stagger your feet, catch your breath. Ready, active shoulder, nice and strong. And lifting for 10, nine, eight. Stagger your feet, totally fine. Seven, six, or stack them for a little more difficulty. Five, four, Three, two, and one, and hold, and down. Switching sides. Ready. We're doing three rounds, by the way. Three, two, one, up. Hold, down, up. Here we go. And one. Lift as high as you can, drop the hip. Two, keep that shoulder nice and strong on the bottom. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold for ten. Squeezing. Good work, guys. On to the bellies. Two sets of ten. Good pulses. Let's get kissing. Lift those feet up. And legs nice and wide for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. Fire those glutes out. Good work. Heels together. And lifting for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good stuff, guys. Lie to the side. Let's go right into hollow. Ready? 30 seconds. And three, two, one, up. Using the glutes and the obliques. Try and open up the body as much as you can, nice and straight, and lift a little bit higher into that crunch. I wanna feel all the muscles working in the lateral line for 10, squeeze it a little harder. 10 more, five more seconds, and time. Good work guys, switching sides, let's go, time to get in the best shape of our lives, we're ready, and three, two, one, up, nice and strong here, hold, squeeze the glutes, Feel all those little tiny muscles and squeeze it just a little bit harder. Just to make sure they're there and alive and well. Hold them tighter. 10 seconds. Good work guys, we're almost done. Second round, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And time. Give yourself a little side bend. Side to side. And dropping to the other side. We're doing one more round. Ready? On to the elbow. Here we go. Spread the feet or stagger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, or sorry, stack. I'm gonna put mine stacked in the last set for 10 reps. Here we go. Nice and strong shoulder. Up and down. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Woo! Light it up 
and switching sides. Feeling great. Got to work for that beer tonight, guys, on the patio or kombucha or whatever you're having. Other side. Here we go. And up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Myra and Avery, you can work for your Kool-Aid. Four, three, two, and hold. Good work, guys. Woo! Almost done. On to the bellies. Pull those knees apart as wide as you can. Pull the heels apart. Feel those muscles. Ready, and up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hold. Squeeze the muscles harder. Feel them, all the muscles, and drop. Heels together, now you use nice and wide. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Onto the side. Hollow positions. Five seconds. Catch your breath. Get it down and grab a drink. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Don't just hold it. I want you to just bring some more awareness to those muscles. Work it hard. That's where the benefit's at, guys. Creating strength against your own body. Eventually we add weights to these exercises. Here we go, five seconds, squeeze them harder. Three, two, one, relax. Well done, last side. Whew. Ready, three, two, one, up. Squeeze the glutes. Feel those muscles. Woo. Ten more seconds. Squeeze your bum. Feel the muscles on the ribs. And time. Stretch into side plank. <sighs> All right, guys, grab a drink, call the girlfriend. Do whatever you gotta do to take a quick little break here and we're gonna get into uh, three drills for creating some upper body strength. And then that's it for tonight. Actually, we got a little skill work next. Grab yourselves a drink. Take pictures and put it on Facebook. It was terrible, but it was 
I'm not sure if you're talking about drinking some coronavirus crappy drink or corona beer, but uh, either way. No, no, they're drinking corona beer like the whole week on purpose. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, so today we're going to finish off with playing with a little straight arm crow. So if you don't know what a straight arm crow is, I'm going to give you a few different variations and we're just going to play at our own pace and you're going to aim for trying to hit this position anywhere from 3 to 15 second holds. All right, so three types of, um, well, first of all, our bent arm crow we've already played with uh, several weeks or days back. It might have been last week. If I were to go load my shoulders over my hands, there's your bent arm crow. Now, if I were to go into that exact same position and lock my elbow out, that's one variation, but that gets a little bit harder doing it like that. Let me just demonstrate. So instead of being here, my knees are, um, or my elbows are inside my shin. And if I were to lock my elbows out, I find this position would be the hardest transitioning from your bent arm to straight arm. So, um, what I like to do is I would put the elbow or the knee on top of the elbow or into the tricep. And we can practice this little movement. And then another way to do it is going to be a little bit harder on the wrist, but I find it a little bit different because instead of having my bum up in this 45 degree, I'm going to be more into a horizontal position. Now, I'll just demonstrate and then I'll talk about the wrist. If I were to bring my knees to the base of my wrist, this would be another straight arm curl. So, let's just talk about the elbow and the wrist position. Uh, the elbow joint is nice and strong and stable here. As soon as I add a little bit of bend uh, in the elbow, I'm using different muscles. So we're really trying to create strong, stable elbows. And then active through the shoulders and then the fingers. Okay, so index finger is handstand position here. For straight arm crow, I like to turn the fingers out 45 degrees or even a little bit further depending on how that feels. And for some of these things down the road, we'll even get into fingers backwards. Okay? So you're gonna play with those three variations. I'm gonna plant my feet or my hands 45 degrees and I'm gonna try and work towards this one first where my knees come into my armpits and then I'm gonna load up onto my toes as high as I can and just simply load that position without lifting your feet. So keep your feet on the ground 45 degrees in the fingers, come on to the toes, and just feel what that looks like on the elbows. And if you're comfortable, you can lift one leg at a time. The other variation, again, or the other two variations are more into the elbows on the inside of the shin would be the second one. Some people are going to find this one easier because the knee is not jamming on the elbow. And the third one would be bringing your knees to the very base of your wrist. And you can do these movements by just bringing your coming onto the top of your toes, as you can see. And I can lift one foot at a time. And then come on back. There's a lot of pressure on the wrist for many of us if we're not used to this. So again, that's where the wrist prep is important. So you're stretching in between sets and you're really engaging fingers nice and strong into the ground here. And it's, it's totally okay guys to not fully load this. Like keep your toes on the ground for now and load up If there's anyone that wants to show me, great job, Matt. That's amazing. Myra and Avery, who can do it the longest? Show me. Competition time. Myra Bale. Myra likes movement. Bale's out of this one, but Avery likes strength. Can you still <laughs> hear when I'm talking? Yeah, I can hear you. I can't see you. Okay. Yeah, can you, can you see her when we're talking? Probably not, eh? No. 
Oh wow, look at that, Avery. Oh, she's back. Oh, she's Can you do pro? No, Myra's Myra's not able to. Straight arm crane. Straight arm crane. Crane. Crane three. Hey, wait, wait, can you see her? Turn. Oh, my dinner's hot. Good bench Straight arm. Alright. <laughs> Continue playing with that, guys. Another two or three minutes. And just like shaking out the wrist in between. Consider this your skill work. Bye. Good job, on it. Okay, trying. It's hard to see, but it looks like the elbows might be a little bit bent. So go a little slower into the movement. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, good, 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 good. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good man. Okay, Amit. Spread the fingers out a little bit more out to the sides and then widen them. Your hands are, your fingers are close together. So guys, a little demo. Eventually, you might be able to... Huh? Eventually, we might be able to lift with one leg up into the air. Or maybe come into bent elbows. And then the straight arm curl will also lift to handstand as well. So that would be, again, a lot longer term, much more advanced, but. Frame Patrick. Try to tell me. Good. Can I ask, um, every time somebody other than Alex talks, I can't see Alex. Can the other person put it on mute? Oh, okay. So that's, uh. We're on mute, are we? Oh shoot, are we not on mute? No, so, so... Yeah, so Nico, if you, if you click on, it says speaker view on the top right hand of, uh, of your Zoom. If you put it on gallery view, uh, or I think... Then you're really tiny. Huh? If I do that, you're really, really tiny. Anyway, it's good now, thanks. Okay, so you can alternate back and forth between gallery and... Uh, speaker. So, actually, what you do is you go to the top right corner of Alex's screen, and there'll be three little dots, and you click on that, and you click pin it, and that keeps him front and center for you the whole time. Thank you, Nat. Good thing someone knows how to work this Zoom thing, eh, Nat? pro now. Yeah, you've been leading lots of classes. So keep playing, guys, another minute or so. Where? Where do we pin him? So if you go to the very right corner of his little square, three little dots should show up. Um, in a little blue square. Yep. Click that. Perfect. Hold on, Gabriel. And then click pin it, and he'll always stay front and center for you. Thank you. Woohoo! Now I'm front, front and center. Now nobody has to mute. <laughs> Rock on. Thanks. Thank you, Nat. So another couple minutes, another 30 seconds or a minute, guys, give that another go. Again, play with the different variations of the crawl. If you want to even try a bent arm crow, you can do that as well. Here we go guys, let's finish with a little strength work, okay? So the first one we're going into is a mountain climber. This is inspired by Coach Nat, by the way, in the top right hand corner. We're gonna be doing an L sit, and then you can grab your weight or your uh, broomstick, and I'll show you what we're doing here. So we're doing a little strength work um, in this sitting position, okay? so. If I were to go here, weight in front, and then lifting, just make sure you, you don't put a hole in your wall. Okay, and you're gonna be lifting for 10 reps. Okay, let's start with that one. Um, oh, and by the way, if you, sorry, my bad, not everyone has a weight. 
So if you want to go into an underhand grip position on your broomstick, you can do that. And you can also do the same thing if you were to grab like a, a can of soup or a can of spaghetti sauce in each hand. Okay, 10 reps, spaghetti sauce lifts. Remember your ribs, you're trying to pull your ribs into your spine. So if you did a handstand class with me last night, you're continuing to reinforce those piped handstand positions. Good work. We're gonna go into a mountain climber. We're gonna load up the shoulders into this front support position, and I'm really trying to get the shoulders leaning over the fingers, okay? And we're gonna be strength training uh, your crow, your straight arm crow, okay? We're really pressing through the shoulders, squeezing the core, and we're going for five reps on each leg. Let me just show you what we're, in, what we're after. Loading shoulders over hands, and lifting to the base of the wrist. Okay, the knee comes to the base of the wrist, shoulders nice and strong, and just focus on the stability of the elbows. Okay, more hollow body on it, ribs in guys. So hollow position in your planks, we're looking for this position, all right? My count, here we go, and one, and hold, and out, and switching, two, and switch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it, and ten. Good work. So again, strong, stable elbows, really leaning the shoulders off of the ground, or off of, over the hands. Take a rest, shake it out, we're going into an L-sit. So, L-sit variations, guys. I can place my hands beside my bum and just lift my bum off the ground as high as I can, okay? If I can do that, maybe I could lift one leg, and the other leg, and then if I can, if I'm going to be alternating, if I'm doing that, and if I can, I'm trying to lift both feet. But again, I'm really trying to get the chest muscles opened up as high as you can. Okay? Ready? 10 to 15 seconds here. And lifting. You can be alternating legs if you need to. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff, guys. Back into that sitting position. Give me 10 reps. And 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Elbows locked out, guys. Six. Straight elbows, not. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Again, that one doesn't have to be weighted, by the way. So feel free to ask questions, guys. Unmute yourself if you're struggling with any of these. Mountain climbers. And I want to see shoulders leaning just a little bit over the hands. Ready? Positions. Nice and strong. Three, two, one, up. 
leaning, strong shoulders, and lift the knee to the wrist for one, and hold. And switch, hold the core muscles, and two, switching, three, same tempo. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. L sits, strike it out. Resting. So 10 to 15 second holds, ready guys? Three, two, one, up. So again, just lift your bump, easiest version. Alternating legs, second and holding, five, Good work. Round three. Any questions, guys? We're okay? Elbow straight. And ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, straight elbows, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good stuff. Stretch the wrist. Good work guys, let's go for round three. I'm gonna go a little bit slower on these reps. Turn your fingers out as much as you need to. Create some strength in the fingers, load the shoulders over the hands, keep the core engaged the whole time. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Hold, leaning, and one, and hold. Switch. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switching sides. One, zero, and switch for ten. Nine, eight, keep it strong, guys. Seven, six, big lean. Five, lean farther. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Search it out. Last L sit. I want you to give me your best set of fruit on this L sit for 15 seconds. Whew. Again, variation one, lift your bum. Variation two, alternating legs. Or three, I want you to hold the full L sit for 15 seconds. All out. Lifting up the chest as much as you can, guys. Open the proud chest. Three, two, one, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, good work guys. Come into upward dog, stretch out the bellies. Squeeze the 
bum, protect your lower back nice and strong. Good, so you're gonna come into this half a child's pose. Reach your arm underneath, other arm reaching overhead. And then you can hang out there or you can straighten out the opposite leg. So if my arm is under, I'm gonna straighten out my left leg. What does that look like? Reaching right arm under, and then my, my left arm or leg is gonna straighten out. And hold. Sides, another 20 seconds. Okay, so left arm under, right leg straight. Reach your other arm way up overhead. And the last one you're going to do, you can lay on your chest and we'll go into a nice long 30 second chest opener. Bring 90 degrees to the elbows, kick that leg back. And just relax, breathe, let the chest open up off the shoulder, rest your ear. Kick that leg back a little further. Take your other hand, bring it to your chest and try and open up that chest just a little bit more. And switching sides. Big reach away, keep it 90 degrees in the elbow. Keep the shoulder away from the ear, pack it towards your hip. Bring your other hand into your chest and kick the leg back, resting your ear. Whew. Great work guys, that's it, that's all for today. Happy Friday, enjoy the rest of the beautiful evening out there. You can go and catch the last little bit of sun and have a beer in the patio. Remember, stay safe, uh, social distancing, really important, so we can get gymnastics back in action, hopefully sooner than later. And I uh, hope to see you guys in class tomorrow morning. Don't forget about the virtual membership that's officially starting tomorrow. Uh, if you didn't get the text message or the email about the virtual membership or if you want to know any more details, have questions at all, don't hesitate to ask and reach out. Thank you again guys. Take care, comb your hair.